Right, so the right-hand one here now is your first one. I've just slightly missed the setup, okay? But you can see the club would have been yeah. next to the ball as normal, okay? In this situation, you're actually in a good start position, okay? The foot is opened out nicely, and I would say your weight is fixed on that left side in a good spot, okay? Yeah. So the start point's good. So yeah. tick, all right? The thing is now, and this is the thing we talked about, obviously, the wrists are flicking because the body stops. And that's the thing. When you try to hand the iPad to me, you yeah. instinctively moved your torso to hand yeah. that thing to me on the left-hand side. If we watch this one on the right, you can see as you go back, backswing again, quite long in terms of the length going back there. As you come back to the ball, the body stops. And now the wrist take over. You see oh, your I hands see. there basically yeah. finishing yeah. between your thighs there, where you just go yeah. doink this yeah. way, okay? Yeah. Your head is still looking down at the ground. The yeah. body's not really moving. The club now is sort of at that right. sort of three okay. o'clock position. Now, when you hit that shot, you're like, oh, I'm wristed again. If you think, no, don't move the wrist, the wrist have done that for a reason, yeah? You haven't just stood there and done a perfect and gone, we can just flick your wrist independently. You've stopped everything and the momentum of that club and the weight of that club has caused the wrist to break down, yeah? If the left yeah. arm tried to keep going, the right arm couldn't keep on the club. Yeah. So you do one of two things. Either you flick it with the wrist, which most people do, or you let go with the right hand and the left hand keeps going, which is unlikely, okay? So you've got to focus again. Same good setup, weight forward, open up that left foot. As you go back here now, you can see not such a long back, so okay, as we go through, you look at your head position now, it's moving, yeah? Yeah. Everything now, if you were sort of, again, use that example of handing something to your left-hand side, yeah. you're now turning to face the target. So look where your hand's finished there. Your hand's now a left of your body. Obviously, right, right as we look, yeah. your left, okay? Compared to this one, where everything now is just basically in between the edge, in between you, where this one, yeah, your hands have moved yeah. left of you. Yeah? Yeah. You're moving your body. Your head is yeah. lifted. As I said, so many golfers, when they go to the range, they get told to keep the head down, keep their arms straight, don't do this, don't do that. We've always said, when you've hit a shot, oh, I flicked it. I've tried to avoid saying, don't flick it. I've said, keep the torso moving. Because if the torso keeps moving, the need to flick or the want to flick is going to kind of go. Yeah? Yeah. The reason you're flicking is because your body is yeah. stopping. Yeah. Now, part of the reason why we said it's stopping is I think when you're playing a lot of these shots, you were focused so much on the golf ball, okay, focused on down here, not really looking at target, not really yeah. looking where the ball was going and just trying so hard to make good contact with that ball. Yeah. yeah, And you get fixated on the ground. And then, as we said, you get locked in that position. You drag a ball in, you don't move. So you almost get very sort of sunk into the ground. And now so you're very rigid yeah. and stiff with the body and the wrist get out of control, yeah? Yeah. We want to feel nice and relaxed with the body so the body can move more effectively. Yeah. And then the wrist won't need to flick. Okay, the wrists are going to flick if the body stops. Yeah, There's a bit of weight on the end of that club. If you try to stop that, it's going to hurt. So what I would say for you in terms of practice, as I said, even in that kind of courtyard you say you got at home, get a welcome mat, I know, door yeah. mat, that kind of thing. Got, yeah. If you can, doesn't have to, put some sort of, say, some flower on the ground or something you can sort of see where you strike it. Maybe the first couple of shots there, just sort of mm. cover it in the green. Okay, I'm going to strike the sand here, I'll strike the flower here, strike it there, strike it there. Just change around on the mat so you can see you're trying to strike at that point, do you hit that point, okay? And then move to the next point, try it at that spot there, do you hit it? You'll get some feedback, okay? Try to make swings as well where you swing... You swing and you hold it. Yeah. Look at what it looks like. Look yeah. at what it feels like, okay? And when you make a good movement and you control the club to do what you want to do, then your brain's going to start remembering, okay, this is feel, okay, okay, that feels good, that feels there, that's where I've got to. How do I keep producing that? And I again... if I'm holding it too high up, um, I hold it down. No, I wouldn't say... It no. stops me. It was up here to it tend to yeah, be I mean, if, I mean, we did talk about a little bit more lean over the ball to start with at address, yeah. so that may be one thing there. But I think the yeah. key thing is to make sure that when you finish this motion, that you are turning through the ball with the body. So the body always is the movement that causes the club to go around us, basically. Yeah, With the long game, it's some other things we'll talk about, which we'll go back to the next session, if you get this sort of practice in here now. But I would say, if you can just spend five minutes a day, yeah. Yeah? if you do more, great. If you do yeah. less, okay. But try to get that sort of feeling of just learning where the ground is, yeah, without the focus of trying to sort of keep your head down and stay down and not move. Yeah, We want you to learn where the ground is by moving the body effectively, yeah? And you'll get that, <coughs> excuse me, you'll get that feedback from the mat or the doormat, getting a good strike, okay? Does that kind of make sense? It does, a lot. Excellent, yeah. good stuff, okay?